Hello everyone, Michelle Taylor, LPCC. I was at a loss of what to talk about today <laughs> until I went for a run this morning and I have to admit that it was really difficult for me to get up and do it. My motivation was super low, um, which is, you know, normal. Sometimes we just don't have motivation, but you just got to get up and do it and motivation will follow. So I'm starting to run very slowly, but I'm out there, so I'm giving myself credit. And I'm almost a mile in. I was trying to do two miles for a warm-up, and then I was going to do some HIIT workout um, at home. I'm coming around the corner, just, you know, slow and steady, and I hit a corner where I'm, I always run in the streets, so I don't fall on the sidewalks and the cracks and stuff, because I tend to trip on the cracks. But um, so I'm in the street, and the magnolia trees that are in our neighborhood are shedding a lot. And so there's a lot of these magnolia cones. I i don't know what they're called, but they look like pine cones, but they're not. Anyways, they're in the street. You have to watch yourself sometimes, but I was just so, I don't know, out of it this morning, didn't really pay attention to my steps, rolled my anchor, ankle on one of these magnolia cones, and just ate shit. <laughs> Face planted on the concrete. My headphones flew five feet and then my phone flew 10 feet. And I'm laying there on the ground on the concrete and it, I, I mean, my adrenaline's pumping so it didn't hurt too bad at the moment. But I laid there and all these cars were driving by. Um, probably looked really weird that I was just laying in the gutter face planted. Um, and it took me about 20, 30 seconds to get up and I laid there and went, you know, I didn't have the energy to do this in the first place today. And here I am getting knocked down and I'm in the gutter <laughs> and I face planted on the concrete and it took me a while, but I stood up my ankle was killing me. I looked down at my leg and it was bleeding my hands were all raw from catching myself. And I had covered my body in, you know, just dirt and shrubbery and whatever else is in the street where the shedding of the tree is going. And I just looked down and I was just like, I don't have the bandwidth for this today. I really didn't. And I have to admit, I, it was hard when I was walking home because I, there's no way I could have run anymore. My ankle was twisted pretty bad and kept go, kept, you know, hobbling home. I was about, I don't know, a quarter of a mile from home. Hobbled home. Um, still had some shrubbery on me. It was just a sad, sad sight. And looking back on it, you know, I'm three, two hours from there now. Um, my, I've patched up my leg. I've cleaned my wounds and my ego is uh, coming back, I guess. But I just think about that in general in life. There's always a metaphor to be found from um, obstacles that come up. And I was like, well, what do I, what do I say on this video today? What do I, what does that mean? And my, my general feeling is sometimes, you know, life is just hard. And when it's hard, it's hard to get the motivation to do stuff. It's hard to get up and want to better yourself. Um, and if you get the motivation or you get the energy or you get the courage to do it anyways, which is what I did today, sometimes life's just, you know, kicks you to the curb again, literally. <laughs> um, and it might make you double think or think, you know, think twice about, why? What's the purpose of all of this? What? Why do we keep getting up? What is, why? And I have been there. I was there today. I am a therapist and I'm telling you it happens. It's just one of those things in life that um, you think you're doing the right thing, getting up and going to do the things you should do to stay healthy. And then life kicks you to the curb or a magnolia cone takes you down. Um, so what do I learn from this? Well, one is you either, I, I like to look at 
obstacles as either you win the obstacle or you learn from the ob obstacle. So I could sit there and say that I lost. I didn't finish my run. I came home and decided to do the HIT program anyways. Just did it modified. Didn't touch my ankle or my scuffed up leg and knee and just did what I could because at that point I was just mad that I couldn't finish my workout. Um, so what do I mean by win or learn? Well, you either accomplish your goals or if you fail, failure is an opportunity to learn um, so that you can grow. So what do I learn from running and falling on my face, really? Well, I learned that I need to pay better attention to each step. I, that if I'm not present in the moment, if I'm my mind is wandering or I'm thinking of other things, which I was, I was definitely in my mind with my gremlins thinking about how I didn't want to be running this morning. And because of that, I didn't pay attention to where my feet were going. And I mean, those pine cones are, those cones are huge. I should have seen that and I didn't. Um, so what it tells me is that I just need to be more present minded when I'm taking each step and, um, and just have more awareness, know where I'm looking ahead in general and, um, give myself credit that I'm out there doing it. You know, I was sitting there moaning in my head about how I had to get up and work out this morning and I didn't have the energy to do it. And then I got kicked down. So, um, I know this is a random video, but I just wanted to share that even I, who work on mental health every single day, have bad mental health days. And the purpose of moving forward is that you get to learn and grow and you can do better the next day. So what is that going to look like moving forward? Well, I'm going to have modified workouts moving forward until I can heal um, my body and my mind, my ego. <laughs> it was a pretty, um, awful visual. If you can imagine me face planted in a gutter next to a pretty busy street. <laughs> and not that anybody was around, but you know, ah, anyways, I hope you're having a decent day and that you're not having one of these days today. But if you are, learn from the day and figure out what you can do to make it better the next day. Have a great day.